What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Up next, you guys, we got another comedian for you guys. We have how to get, how to not get your ass kicked by the police. Okay, so you guys, this is by Chris Rock. We're going to get into it. See how funny he is. Um, let's see if he makes me laugh. Now, of course, I know who Chris Rock is, but I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like Chris Rock, but I cannot stand his voice. I know some people might feel the same way about me, you know? But I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just his voice. It just irks me. But that's just my opinion, you guys. Do not take it personal. I still love Chris Rock. Um, I'm sure he loves me for showing him love. So do not take it personal, you guys. I know for the ones that take everything to the head, it's going to take it personal, dislike it, but whatever. But, um, but anywho, so we're going to see how to not get your A kicked by the police. Let's go, you guys, by Chris Rock. Black community, myself, often worry that we might be a victim of police brutality. So, as a public service, the Chris Rock Show proudly presents this educational video. Have you ever been face to face with a police officer and wondered? Is he about to kick my ass? Well, wonder no more. <laughs> if you follow these easy tips, you'll be fine. First, obey the law. Laws were made for a reason. Right? Think of them as hints. You've heard people say, man, I wouldn't do that shit if I was you. Well, here's some of that shit. <laughs> Carjacking, armed robbery, <laughs> arson, selling drugs, buying drugs, stabbing, shooting. You know, you probably won't get your ass kicked. Stuff you're not supposed to do, and you know you're not supposed to do it. Don't do it. <laughs> if you just use common sense. If you jump or something common sense. Out, you might just get off with a warning from the police. <laughs> but if you jump a turnstile carrying a loaded gun and smoking a joint, then maybe you need your ass kicked. Why? Why? If he had just followed this simple tip, when you see flashing police lights in your mirror, stop immediately. Everybody knows if the police have to come and get you, they're bringing an ass kicking with them. Yes, yes, he said if the police come and get you, they are bringing an ass kicking with you. Or with them, whichever one. But that is so funny. Like, yes, you making him run, especially if he, he might be overweight. Now you making him run more. Like, he out of breath. He mad. So, yeah, you gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> Most likely. Not all. Here's a no-brainer. If you're listening to loud rap music, turn that shit off. He said turn that shit off. Why you getting pulled over by the police? It's just ignorant. When an officer approaches the car, be polite. Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> and stay in your car with your hands on the wheel. What the fuck you want, motherfucker? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wrong move. <laughs> Why you got four or five places beating them up? <laughs> That's wrong. Wanna give a friend a ride? Not so fast. Your friend might be crazy. <laughs> now before you let your friend in your car, ask him these questions. Do you have a gun? Do you have He is really patting down his friend. Oh my gosh. Do you have any warrant? And in case you do get pulled over by the cop, license and registration, please. Remind your friend to do this one thing. Shut the fuck up. Man, don't give him shit. What the fuck? It's always one of them friends. <laughs> if you have to give a friend a ride, get a white friend. What? He said get a white friend. But I feel like everything he has named, I feel like that goes for all different types of all different types of race. I feel like that goes for all different types of race. Because 
this white people that has guns and sell drugs and rob and they do illegal stuff too. So I feel like he's bringing a lot of color into this, but this is this is funny. Friend can be the difference between a ticket and a bullet in the ass. <laughs> Instead of bullying your ass. Here's a tip you should never forget. If your woman is mad at you, leave her at home. Cause a mad woman will say anything. He got weed, he got weed. <laughs> <laughs> he said a mad woman would say anything. <laughs> he said take his weed too. Use common sense. Stop immediately. Turn that shit off. Be polite. Shut the fuck up. I'm mad. He made like a <laughs> with a mad woman if you follow these simple pointers tutorial how to obey the law by the police. <laughs> that is so funny in 1961 martin luther king jr sat in church at st louis negroes are 10 percent of the city of st louis st louis sorry st louis and are responsible for 58 percent of his crime we have to face that, and we have to do something about our moral standards. We know there are many things wrong in the white world, but there are many things wrong in the black world too. We can't keep the blaming the white. We can't keep blaming the white man. There are things we must do ourselves. He is correct about that too. Um, Rev King was Republican with a different set of morals than the black civil rights activists of today. Okay, so he had a point. We have to do take, we do have to take in consideration, we do have to take in consideration that more crimes are led more by black people. But that does not mean um, there is not white people doing it out here or Mexicans or Indians or Arabs or anybody, you guys. Um, I just feel like when you set a color to something, it just makes it so negative. But he had a point. He is funny. And shout out to Chris Rock once again. Um... This was cool. Okay. That's the end of it. So, yeah, you guys, let me know how you guys feel about Chris Rock. If you guys want to stay on channel, smash the like button, hit that rubber, you guys. Um, this was like just a tutorial how to obey a law. So, obey the law and you won't get your ass kicked or go to jail. So, whichever one. And that goes for everybody. Let's go, you guys.